Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today on the agenda, first off, we have the bazaar. And then we have Freya's birthday and also my birthday on the same day. Listen, I like, I like having my birthday in this game be my birthday in real life, okay? It was not intended by me to have Freya's birthday and my birthday be on the same day. But that is something that they added in... I think that was Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. First, before we go to the bazaar, we want to stop off at the windmill and drop off these spinach. The spinach so that we can have spinach seeds. In addition to getting silver and gold at Lloyd's Stand, if we can, I think it would also be nice for us to pick up a full complement of dishes at the bazaar to be giving out to people, to various villagers whose best items we don't know. We know Sherry's, we know Stuart's, and, well, Amir isn't in town, and there are 24 villagers in total. Amiko... Hmm. Amiko will go ahead and skip two. So that would leave 20 items, I believe. That are 20 of each that we want to get. Because no Sherry, no Stuart, no Amir, and no Amiko. Yes, 20 of each dish from one of the cafes. From any of the cafes, all of the cafes, I don't know. We'll have to see how that works out. Because, I mean, we don't have infinite money. We've got a lot of money. We don't have infinite money. And I would like to start saving up for jerseys and Suffolk's and Silkies. Oops, that's what is that? Well, we're also going to be getting some for ourselves, I guess. Getting some food for ourselves. Mimi's rosy wine. Chestnuts. Yams. Oh my gosh, all these people. I, I'm so hungry, I can barely move. I think I'm going to pass out. Take one of my items. Oh no, oh no, don't give up, you're fine. She wants my rosé wine, doesn't she? R really? Then I'll take one of these rosé wine. <laughs> Thank you. I'll sell it and buy myself some. F could you? You could have taken one of my eggs. You could have taken some milk. You could have taken a chestnut, a yam. Oh, I don't have enough money for this yam. How about for half price? How about for free? You can't have everything. How about for half price? Oh wait, no, it's not an old man. It was an old man that was coming- okay, listen. Sometimes my voices will not always be 100% accurate. We are definitely not going to meet the goal this bazaar, but if we can get some silver, we will definitely meet it next bazaar. Hey there, we're the famous comedy duo Lucy and Ricky. What a wonderful day for a bazaar! So you play two parts, you're bothering me, Ricky? Where's Lucy? What? Lucy's not here? Where did she go? I bet she went shopping again. Come back here, Lucy! You got some explaining to do! Hey, I want one of these milk. Can I have one? Go on, take one, and the money... What? No way. And the money? Oh, I know I forgot something. I'll go ask my mom for some. I'll be back. Oh, whoops. I didn't know it was a kid. There's just like this giant crowd, okay? Hey, this milk is nice. Can I have it? For free? Sorry. No. So this is the one. Hey, this is a gift for Lucy. And this is... I'll pay you later. The, the Please pay for it. He'll say, I'll pay you later. For free? Sorry. He'll say, hey, this is a gift for Lucy. And your reputation will go down both times and you will lose the item, so apparently 
The correct answer is just no. Oh, that's cold, but I respect you for that. I'll be sure to invite you to our next show. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and to let me know any thoughts in the comments down below. It could be about anything. It could be about how your day's going, if there's something you would like me to explain, or if there's something you'd like my thoughts on. Just any of that stuff, I really do love to hear it, and it all helps me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget to do that. We're actually getting close to a reputation win, though. I think we're at, what, 45 reputation? And you need 60 in order to win. I can't go on anymore. Not another step. I'm booped. I might be okay if I had this left. <laughs> I mean, lavender does have a very refreshing scent. Oh, you're so kind. I am so moved. Thank God. Oh, you look... Oh, you look just like my grandchild. Could we talk for a bit? I'm busy right now, sure. No, I can't. Really? Well, then. Ah, oh, that was a nice chat. To show my thanks, I'll buy all of your eggplant. Remember, being nice has no downsides, and you only get stuff from being nice. Unless, of course, it, you're being nice to Ricky, in which case you lose. Chestnuts, spinach, yellow peppers, Milk. Oh, my glasses! I can't find my glasses! They're on your head. What? Oh, you're right. Thank you. I didn't notice them at all. Eggs. Lavender. Ooh, nice. Okay. So we're done. We only got 79,000. That is... Not great for 75% bizarre, but it's fine. First, let's see... Uh, Lloyd. Lloyd! Why do you have to do this to us? Who hurt you? <laughs> and we'll buy some copper. Not much, though. We don't need that much. We already bought quite a bit. <laughs> okay then. Oh no. Poor you. Stock some silver. Stock what your customers want and they will buy. Alright, we can play two rounds of the Super Lucky Lotto. Okay then. Let's see just how lucky you are. Sixth place prize. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> and then we've got one more play of it. Again, two scrap metals. Please. Why? This game is just hating me right now. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100 G okay? Well, this is just a rumor, really. Things like flowers and mushrooms grow all around this town. Feel free to pick them up. They're yours to keep. And here's a tip. Harder to reach places tend to have better items. If any other hard info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Once again, if you haven't heard about foraging, by the time Bizarre reaches, I forget when he shows up, actually. <laughs> I can't remember if it's 50% or... Yeah, 50%, isn't it? Okay, let's get some cappuccino. I think that might be somebody's favorite gift. Uh, I don't know. Berry wine. 
glass. So basically this just teaches you how to put berry wine in a glass. We really didn't actually need to do the recipe for this. Mushroom rice. Nice. We'll get some of this. I want to get all of these before I figure out which one I want to give to everyone. To buy 20 of. And we might do multiple different ones and just like, give away all of them for a couple of days this week. Say hi to our lovely wife. Honey, how is your store doing? We're doing well. Glad to- I'm good- there. That's good to know. Oh, and Freya's birthday is also <laughs> that thing that I mentioned at the start of this episode. Freya's birthday is tomorrow, so... We will get some chocolate. And we will wrap it up. I think Freya likes yellow. Could be wrong. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stand. Tempura. Dumpling. Oh, I know what these are. Thanks. I'll turn the recipe for you too. Get this chocolate wrapped for Freya's birthday. Actually, I'm not sure why I got the chocolate. Since we know that she likes red magic flowers, I could have just had that wrapped instead. I'm pretty sure she likes them both the same. Oh well. Alright. That's... Okay, first play of the Lucky Lotto, and nothing. Second play of the Lucky Lotto, and nothing. Man, there are just days when the game hates you. Third play of the Lucky Lotto. And a first place prize! Nice! Olive oil. And fourth play, nothing. And... Last one nothing. We got one win. And yes, it was olive oil, so yeah, yes, but mm. welcome, welcome. Would you like our fortune, Red? It's just 100G. Tell me my fortune. Abracadabra. What fate lies in wait for you? Just be yourself, and others will like you for who you are. That is such generic advice. I mean, it's not necessarily bad advice. It's just very generic. And yeah, so it was our first place prize, the one thing we got from the Lucky Lotto, is worth 670G. And we spent 1500G on tickets for the Lucky Lotto. Remember kids, gambling does not pay off. Let's try mushroom rice. Pizza. Cheese dumpling. Thank you. I hope you like it. And then we can also probably. Oops. 
before pineapple pie. Twenty of these. And... You know what, I think that's gonna be it. And today, we will start out with cheese dumplings. Busy, <laughs> don't work too hard. Hey, nice, thanks. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? Oh, Ray sold everything. Thanks, I'm impressed that you know what I like. So that's a, probably a liked gift for her. Probably not a love gift. Um, hello. For me? Thank you very much. Yeah, so, not a favorite gift. Remember, with the favorite gifts, they'll actually call it out by name. So they'll say, oh wow, a cheese dumpling? Hey, thanks. Hey, Lori. It must be nice to be young and full of energy. For me? Why, thank you. It's very nice of you, Ray. Hmm. Yeah, we'll hold off on the other stuff. Mm, no sherry, we already know. She likes herb salads. Oh, Ray. Hello. For me? Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Are you eating well? I really like this, thanks. Hello there, Ray. Eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. For me, thanks. Even if it isn't a favorite gift, we'll still get uh, a lot of points. For this is very nice, thank you very much. We'll still get a lot of friendship points from these gifts. Unless, of course, it's one of their horror gifts, in which case, well, we won't be doing so well. So cheese dumplings are liked by a lot of people here, but doesn't seem to be a favorite gift of anyone. So cheese dumplings, again, liked by most, loved by maybe a couple, and favorited by none. So, oh well. But we tried. And this is kind of what you gotta do if you don't want to, you know, look up the spoilers. Look it up on Ushino Tane. What everyone likes is you gotta go around giving everyone just random cooked gifts and hope it works out. Oh, and it is my birthday, so there is actually an event that takes place on your birthday if you're married. I don't think anyone says anything about your birthday otherwise, but we are going to be able to see a special event with Sherry um, tonight. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 140,000 G! We did not stand a chance. June! Congratulations! In second place with 176,000 G! Wilbur Store, congratulations! And in first place with 220,000 G! Lloyd Store, congratulations! You know, it would have been more if you would have stocked silver and gold. Just saying. And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! People are saying that your store provides excellent service! Yeah, because I give things away for free. Except to Ricky. <gasps> you all done the down proud. Keep up the good work! And for Ray, I have a present from a customer! A good wool! I can tell your customers really like you! Good wool is from Suffolk Sheep, 
and so we wouldn't really have any way of getting it until year three. Other than this, a goal to be the best bazaar in the world is now a tiny bit closer. We need to bring in more customers. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. Now, one thing you can do with this whole uh, cooked gift giving thing is that you can give people gifts of base ingredients like milk, eggs, eggplant, that sort of thing. And if they like the base ingredient, then there is a good chance that they will like something made from that. And there's a good chance that their favorite item gift, their special gift, the one that gives them, gets them, ugh, gets you a lot of friendship points with them, will include that ingredient. Welcome home, honey. Honey, it's your birthday, so I prepared something. Please come over here. to see you smile. Happy birthday. I forgot that that ends the day, but... So you can try and do that and just kind of give people, say, for example, yams. And see, okay, do they like yams? Well, if they do, then there's a decent chance that they're special gift is a yam product. Now, of course, they're going to like a lot of vegetables and animal products that are not their special dish, but it's kind of a hint. So if they don't like, uh, for example, cabbage, uh, let's see you. Isaac doesn't really like a lot of the vegetables. Right? Well, that's a hint that his special dish probably doesn't contain cabbage or things like that. So you can kind of focus on other things. And of course, you can use the kind of dishes that they like to kind of zero in on that. And of course, you can also use the bookcase. For example, I believe Freya's entry in the bookcase states that she does not like tempura, so we will never be giving her tempura. Hey, Ray, you like bird. Yes, this is me, thanks. Almost everybody loves mushroom rice, is what I am learning from this. Or everybody likes mushroom rice, that is. Yeah, as you can see, there's not really much downside to just doing the whole gifting various different cooked dishes at random because the chances of a character disliking a cooked dish is low. The characters in this game like most cooked dishes, so... And if they don't like it, then you can just not give it to them again. You know, if you accidentally give a character their horror gift, which a lot of them are cooked dishes, well, you can just never give that to them again. And if you find their special dish, then you can just give that to them lots, and that will more than make up for the horror gift, unless you give the horror gift on their birthday. Don't try to experiment on villagers' birthdays. That would be a very bad idea. accidentally give a villager a, a horror gift on their on their birthday because that completely tanks your relationship with them and loses the opportunity to give them something that they like on their birthday even just something that is okay would be be a good idea better idea than just random experiment 
If they gave you a fairly neutral response to something and that's the only other option, then just give them the the fairly neutral response thing. Unless you're absolutely certain that this isn't a dislike gift, then avoid experimenting on villagers' birthdays. That's basically the gist of what I'm saying. I think I'm going to have to call it here. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope that I will see you later. Bye.